let go of his longtime agent and hired Rock Nation to negotiate his new deal. It's been reported that the Cowboys have offered him several, quote, really nice contracts, but Bryant doesn't think any of them are nice enough to sign. Let's listen. I think the Cowboys and everybody know, you know, um, where my head is when it comes to this situation. I've been here for five years, you know, and um, it's not about the money. It's not about none of that, but um, I just feel like, you know, a little respect should, you know, you know, play a factor in that, you know. I am a very um, loyal person, but, you know, just don't test my loyalty. Could you see yourself going to the world? I really can't. I, I honestly can't. You know, and, and I don't think that would be my decision. All right, since the start of the 2012 season, uh, Des Bryant ranks first in the NFL in touchdown catches, clearly valuable to that franchise. So, Skip, could you see Des Bryant leaving Dallas? You know, Carrie and Stephen A., if you had asked me this question before Des Bryant fired his agent, Eugene Parker, and hired Rock Nation, I would have laughed at this question. I would have said, stop it, slow down, it's going to be all right, Jerry Jones will take care of Dez, it will all work out in the end. Now I am not so sure. To me, Rock Nation has become the big X factor in what could become a, a protracted and contentious negotiation for all I know. Now again, reportedly, Tom Condon will negotiate for Rock Nation, and he has that, dealt with Jerry Jones before. He's that done, is correct. Um, you know, he did Brandon Carr, he did Jason Witten, uh, he did Doug Free. So, so that's good. But again, Stephen A., the X factor to me, maybe you you can let me finish, and then you you enlighten me. Will Jay Z be involved? Will Will any any of the other major domos from Rock Nation be involved in the negotiation? Will they encourage Dez to? push harder and to hold out longer. I have no idea. Eugene Parker got along very well with Jerry Jones, and I don't think it was a bad thing for Eugene's clients. I think it was a good thing. I think Jerry took care of Eugene's clients because Jerry really enjoyed doing business with the pros pro that is Eugene Parker. So now, let's look at the bigger picture here. All of a sudden, we're hearing new comments from Des. He says, and I'm paraphrasing slightly, but he said, you know, it used to feel like a family around here. Now it feels like a business. Well, welcome to the real world, Des, and welcome to Rock Nation. Jerry reportedly encouraged you to stick with Eugene and not go to Rock Nation. Jerry is a proud older man. Des is a very proud young man. So egos are about to collide. Obviously, Dez wants Megatron money, and he well might deserve Megatron money. But all of a sudden, Jerry has to step back now, and he has to reconsider his emotions here. He's been quoted recently as saying he's like a proud daddy as he watches Dez's growth on and off the football field. Is he going to feel that close to Dez now, going forward? I'm not so sure about that, because he also has to figure out how to take care of DeMarco Murray. And maybe Rolando McClain, who's also coming up. We're not sure how valuable he's going to be, but, but fairly valuable, I would think, going forward. Now, let me throw one last wrench into the equation. We didn't get to discuss this the other day, but Ian Rappaport of NFL Network did report on Sunday, this is his report, that the Cowboys do not trust Dez going forward off the field, that they still worry that all of his minor incidents could suddenly come together into one major incident. And Ian Rappaport reported that he went to the DeSoto police, it's his local police department where Des, in the neighborhood Des lives in, and found that they had been called six times for various minor incidents to Des's home. Nothing major, obviously no convictions here, but again, that's another X factor in the equation going forward that I'm, I'm just throwing this out, Stephen. They might have been smoothed over a little more easily if Eugene Parker had been the point man as opposed to Rock Nation and Tom Condon. So I think it's a brave new world. I want to see Jerry get the deal done. He's known to get big deals done as well as any owner in football. I'm not so sure anymore. <clears throat> Very, several points you made I'd like to address. Number sure. one. <clears throat> Number one. We need to be careful about what we're saying here as it pertains uh, to alluding the things that Des Bryant may have found himself in. 
Number one, if he found himself in those precarious kind of situations that, that has them concerned about his stuff off the field, then why would Eugene Parker matter? You either want the guy or you don't. It shouldn't be contingent on your relationship with an agent. That's number one. Number two, obviously, Eugene Parker, let's make sure, and I know you were not doing this, but let's make sure we remind the world that this man who happens to be African-American is one of the best agents in the business, incredibly high respected, and the fact that Des Bryant let him go should not impugn his reputation as an elite no. agent in any way. He is okay? one of the best. Listen, he's one of the mm -hmm. best. Number three, however, Des Bryant still has the right to make the decision that he made. And when you are negotiating for dollars, it's not about making the owner comfortable. It's about getting what you believe you have earned and what the market says you have earned. Does <clears throat> Des Bryant deserve Megatron money based on his skill set? No, he does not. Does he deserve it based on durability and reliability? Yes, he does. Because whereas Megatron, there are some questions about his knees, some questions about his legs, some questions about his durability, and how you may very well need him to restructure his deal so you can re-sign Indomitian Sue in Detroit, yep. who, by the way, my sources tell me, doesn't want to leave. He just expects to be taken care of, and he'll need help from Megatron and possibly Matt Stafford restructuring their deals in order for them to pull that off. In the case of Des Bryant, his thing is, here I am. Yeah, Jerry Jones is willing to put his arms around him, willing to tell him how much he loves him and how much he supports him and whatever the case may be. But did it ever occur to anybody that you're willing to do that so you can justify lowballing him, so you can build a maelstrom of support to find yourself in a, in a situation where if negotiations get a bit tight in the court of public relations and public opinion, you're able to lean on that to say, look what I did for this poor kid. He was a troubled soul, and I embraced him, and I took care of him. That is a bunch of nonsense. Des Bryant can ball. And Jerry Jones is supposed to take care of him, regardless of who his agent is, because he can ball and because you need him in order for the Dallas Cowboys to elevate themselves above the realms of mediocrity. It is that simple. And that is where Jay-Z, Juan Perez and Rock Nation Sports comes into the equation, because what I'm breaking down to you is exactly how they're thinking. They're saying to you and to the rest of the world, don't come to us with all of this stuff as, as if you care about our well-being and you love us so much and you're looking out for us or whatever the case may be. This is about business, and this is why players gravitate or are, see, are, are seeming to gravitate towards Rock Nation. That doesn't take any way for anything away from Henry Thomas to CAA from Bill Duffy, who's exceptional, from the Goodwin brothers, you know, and, and, and what they do. I mean, please, these these brothers are big time. They know what they're talking about. But when it talk, when you're talking about Jay Z and a player's a, a willingness to connect with them, it's because Jay Z has went through the system. He understands how to make money with the system coming your way against you in its own way, trying to make you feel as if you're obliged or you're obligated, rather, to capitulate and acquiesce to their demands. No, it's about an even playing field. It's about getting what the market says you deserve. More importantly, it's about getting what these owners would give to somebody else that they like. But is it as productive or is just as productive, but not necessarily more productive. When it comes, particularly the African-American athletes, on far too many occasions, not all, not most, Skip, but on far too many occasions, think about this for a second. As long as you've been around, how many times do we hear of situations and scenarios where it's the rags to riches story, where this person came out and pulled themselves up by the bootstraps and had somebody help them along the way and look at where they are now? Oh, there's always this connotation that folks, that brothers are supposed to be grateful. And I'm not here to say that they're not. Of course, you're supposed to be grateful, but primarily because you have finally received what your work ethic has earned and what your production has earned, as opposed to being perceived as being somebody that's handed something out of the goodness of somebody else's heart. That's not Jerry Jones. Let's stop that. The man is trying to market the Dallas Cowboys and win football games and get his money hand over foot that way. 
Des Bryant is trying to do the same. There is nothing wrong with that. And that is what Rock Nation with Jay-Z and Juan Perez emphasize to these brothers. And I applaud them for that, along with the Bill Duffy's, the Goodwin brothers, and, and Hank Thomas, Henry Thomas, and all of these other guys. I applaud them for making sure they send that message. The time has come for people to stop treating us as if we should be grateful okay. for what we have earned. I hear you. But here's my point, and I think you're missing this point. Jerry Jones has always really taken care of his favorite players, his superstar. He takes care of players in ways many owners do not. So I have seen players in the past, in my years covering the Cowboys, who played up to Mr. Jones, let him treat them like a son. And I got to tell you, he way overpaid a number of those players. I'm not going to say who they were. But even, let's go all the way back to the Dion negotiation, which was one of Eugene's first with Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones broke the bank for Dion Sanders, and he deserved that and more. But what Thank I'm saying... Thank you. Okay, well, he did. But, but there's a way to handle people. Jerry can be, as we all know, stubbornly, wrongheadedly proud. And if you push him into a corner, he will fight back. So everything you just described to me about how th that Dez should be treated correctly, it all leads to a player who's going to be more and more inclined to either hold out or to leave Dallas, Texas, to, yeah. to, to hit the open market. Okay, God bless. If that's what you want to do, I, I'm just, I'm on record. I already told you this when we did it, what was it, a couple of weeks ago. I told you, I will bet that Dez won't be able to get as much money elsewhere as as he could get from Jerry if he played his cards correctly but, but, with Jerry. But wait a minute. If he can't get as much money elsewhere that he could get from Jerry, then it's not going to be contentious because his representation is going to recognize that, he's going to recognize that, and all is okay. well. But the problem is, the problem is with the things that you're saying about Jerry Jones, and please may, let me preface my comments by saying I'm not trying, in all seriousness, I am not trying to cast any aspersions on Jerry Jones. I know there are players he has taken care of. I also know there are some players he hasn't skipped, and, 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 and Emmett Smith comes to mind, and Deion Sanders could have gotten more elsewhere, too. Yeah, he took care of Deion but no, Dion could have got more that. elsewhere. This is prime time. Just stop it, okay? No. The point that I'm trying to make to you... Not the, the point that I'm trying. Go ahead. Yeah, Go the, ahead. Po the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. Regardless of all of that stuff, in the end, treat it like business. If, if this man deserves this, don't act as if you're put off and you're offended by the fact that he'll stand up and say, this is what I deserve. Mm. This is what okay. I have earned. Treat Look, it like you would do anybody else in the world I, of business. I'm with you. That's all I ask. Okay, understand. I'm with you in, in spirit here. I want to see these players get way more than they get, all of them. I'm always pro player. I'm That's just not... trying to help Des see the psychology here. If you alienate this owner, if your representatives alienate Jerry Jones, you might just burn that bridge. You might wind up somewhere else where you might not be as happy because... It's pretty cool being a Dallas Cowboy if you're Des Bryant from the state well, of Texas. It's pretty cool. But it's, it, you think it's pretty cool. But if you are a guy that's watching Jerry Jones make money hand over foot, okay. but he's not inclined, hold on, but he's not inclined to share it with you to your liking and somebody okay. else is, then, go then that's it. I mean, you're, you're sitting here and talking like, uh, think about what you're saying. Think about the magnitude exactly of what, what you're saying. saying. What, I, what I'm telling you, listen to how you're coming across. You're coming. I understand you're talking about how supportive you are to athletes making their money, but you're also saying psychologically, I'm trying to give him some insight here because he might rub Jerry Jones the wrong yeah. way. So what? So what? And so what? If Jerry Jones so is not what? willing to take care of him, so what? Okay, so, so what? one day Des wakes up in, I don't know, in Tampa, Florida, and he says, you know, I really had it good in Dallas. That, that was really great being a Dallas Cowboy. Well, you're, you're assuming the Dallas Cowboys are going to be better than Tampa. And how dare you assume that? The Cowboys how are going to win you? the NFC East this year, which how, will be a springboard next year. They just might win it all next year. And then they might turn around and go another 17 years with one playoff <laughs> victory. What issue. you going to say then? So Des Bryant cuts off negotiations earlier uh, before the regular season started, saying he wanted to focus solely on football. Um, and now... It's about how much money he will get. Sask got really riled up on that.